As night falls, I'm heavily bruised. I have blisters everywhere. And all I have with me is my map, my compass. But what's really scary about walking at nighttime are the water crossings. We're talking rapid water flowing in a single direction. And all you see is just pitch black darkness. Being completely blind and jumping into the water, this is the exact definition of leap of faith. There's a lot of fear and adrenaline kicking in. I knew that I couldn't make any mistakes. There are a number of reasons why I wanted to do the Turks and Caicos Challenge, and I wanted to become the first person to record this. Since I was a child, I've always been hiking, running around, swimming, um, going on boats, fishing, and really exploring the you know, the islands of the Turks and Caicos. All those places really inspired me, and I really love the stories of the indigenous people that actually moved around on the islands, and they did it by dugout canoes. So I was really always kind of inspired by how they would have done it, and I always wanted to replicate that. The Turks and Caicos Challenge is moving across the islands with human power alone. So not wind assistant and not motor assistant, but human power, whether it's cycling, or hiking, swimming, paddling. Mario intends to start on Sol Key, and then from there head north to Grand Turk. And then one of the more formidable uh, passages is, is kayaking from Grand Turk to the Caicos group. So it's a 25 mile crossing. The waters ranges from six to 8,000 feet deep. Um, from there he hits the Caicos Archipelago and he's crossing uh, around almost sort of like a U-shaped around from South Caicos heading north to East Caicos and then heading across Middle Caicos, North Caicos, Providenciales and finally to, to West Caicos. If anyone thinks this is a nice walk in the park on a tropical uh, vacation island, you know, that's just poppycock. This is, this is going to be hard work. He's basically doing triathlons every day and then he's doing it day after day after day to get across the islands. I was born right here in Grand Turk, in fact, and just down the hospital over here. And as soon as I was one years old, I moved to Germany, where I lived in a small little village called Stuttgart. And from there, we actually moved back 10 years later to the Turks and Caicos Islands in Providenciales. It's a very leisure kind of lifestyle, as opposed to the German lifestyle, which is the complete opposite of that, which is the hard work and precision. If you're a minute late, then you know, you're know you not getting your job back. But here in the Turks and Caicos Islands, we kind of flow with more a natural vibe. We can get rolling before it gets too hot. Just do it. In my early life, I believed that I was going to compete in the Olympics. Every day, I would breathe, eat, sleep, track and field. I never saw myself doing anything else. I found out I couldn't go to the Olympics when uh, the track and field team just didn't have the funding anymore. So I remember thinking to myself, what am I really doing with my life? I believe that I came to a crossroad where I didn't want to live a, um, a half fulfilled life. I wanted to live fully. And that was the moment where I actually decided to walk the length of Africa. I think it's like 9,000 miles or something like that. I got rid of any possible excuse I could have. I sold my condo, I sold my things, and I didn't have anything to go back to. At the Salve border in Mozambique, I was caught in a guerrilla warfare between the military and the guerrilla soldiers. 
He called me one morning, it was a Sunday morning, there was shooting guns everywhere. And he's like, this is probably gonna be the last time you're ever gonna hear my voice, you know? And I, I replied to him, it's like, it was really loud. I said, it's really loud. And when it's no longer loud, then you can call me back. I'm not gonna be on the phone crying, oh Mario, I'm so sorry for you, you know, like, oh my God, you know? No, you decided to do this journey and you will continue, you will finish it. It's just my heart was pumping the whole time thinking, what am I doing? But at the same time, I believe that this was a journey that's so worth it, that even if I were to be in danger, if I died on this trip, it would still be worth more than not going. When I saw him go under, um, I was worried. Um, I actually saw a wave coming up behind him and I wanted to shout, look out. I suppose uh, the fatigue that he's gonna feel as the trek, as the, as the odyssey continues, is gonna catch up. He's gonna, he's gonna get worn down and that's gonna be the psychologically hard part for him is to say, I gotta keep going. This is the first big hurdle of the expedition. So, we'll see. Because <laughs> I got the next day to, to, um, to hike and swim across East Caicos, which is no man's land. It's gonna be a hike. It is so hot in East Caicos. It's a desolate island. The only things that are on there are wild donkeys, insects, and dead plants. It's just inhospitable. Ah. A lot of people might have resistance and they want to be perfect, and that limits going past that point of failing. I would rather fail more often than to win once. And I'm not afraid to fail constantly. That's the only way you can move forward is to be comfortable in failure. In this world right now, it's not many people can dedicate themselves to one specific thing. And it's not just about himself. He do everything for a purpose, to either inspire more people to going out, to be involved, or just simply to go outside or break your own comfort zone. He really wants us to empower the next generation, especially from here, to see what's possible. And the fact that it's, it is someone from here showing what is possible. Today, it gives me great pleasure to present the flag of the Turks and Caicos Islands to our son of the soil, Mario Rigby. I've always dreamt about this since I was a kid, so Thank you all for supporting me. Super Mario, you made it! A lot of people call himself a dreamer. I think he's a dream maker. He's the one make the dream or other people's dream happen.